All right, here we go. So yesterday was the first time that I cooked with the Beyond Meat. And I must say, I actually liked it a lot more than the actual Beyond um, patties. I don't know what it was about this. I think the new Beyond patties are a little chunky and um, it kind of grosses us out. Right, babe, does it gross you out? The, the newer Beyond patties? on the bottom yeah you're not gonna all right he's not he doesn't all right it grosses him out anyway so what we're going to do today we are going to make burgers yesterday i used this and i made um quesadillas they were delicious but now i'm gonna actually make this as i would actual burger patties meaning i'm gonna take it out of the packaging i'm gonna put it inside of a bowl i'm gonna chop up all my goodness and then when we're done, I'm going to stuff them and we're going to put them on brioche buns. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're going to cut up some onion because everything that I make has onions in it. So we're going to, this one's a little wonky, but that should be about, that's good. And we're going to use some bell pepper too. Okay. So I'll probably just use about half. That's good. So just stack it up. I do not cut onions professionally. As long as it gets cut. I don't do the whole finger bend and curl it under and do all that. No. I am a home shelf, home chef self-taught. Didn't go to knife school and learn all that, so that's how I cut it. Move that over. Chop this up. Should probably learn so I don't cut my fingers off. I've been cooking this long and I still have all 10. Good enough. So I think we'll use the bigger bowl. Can you see that? Down is up. Oh, I got a new toy. All right. Is what it looks like. The white is like their marble to make it kind of juicy, I guess. That's that's what the packaging says. So if yours has white spots, it's okay. That's how it's supposed to be. So then we'll take this, put this inside. Just like you would regular ground beef. that to the side. I'm going to get a pan. I usually use olive oil, but Travis says that we're not supposed to use that anymore. Not exactly sure. Maybe if he's not camera shy, he'll come and share with us. So, just a little. You don't need a whole lot. Just get it all around. Turn that on medium, high, and get that going. Then we're gonna season our stuff. Okay, we're gonna use some onion powder. I promise you I use more than salt and pepper. I watch enough cooking videos on Instagram to know that you guys murder people that only use salt and pepper little cayenne pepper because we like the spice garlic powder because you just need it in everything that you cook a little ranch seasoning 
You know what, now that I think about it, I'm going to stuff the burgers. So I'm gonna turn that fire off because I got one more thing to do. This Cajun seasoning that I found at Ralph's is actually really, really good. All my real ones know about that. If you don't have it, you should go visit my Instagram and click the link in my bio and get you some. Because if you don't have the sauce, then your burger is not going to taste good because you're missing the most important ingredient. That's for the burger. We're gonna put that to the side. So now I'm going to stuff them. So we're gonna use some cream cheese. About half. Jalapenos. Usually I would use bacon bits, but we have not been eating meat. And honestly, we don't miss it. sun-dried tomatoes. I might just put it in there and then ball them up again and then form them again. So we'll see. Put that there.
I'm going to flip these until probably about five minutes. We've got a lot going on on the inside. So you have to cook all the way through. And then that way it'll form like a nice crust on that side. And when we flip them, they'll stay intact. Now we are going to take them. Listen, we, ouch. We're going to see together what has happened. Oh, that is so perfect. That one. Oh, he snapped. I'm confident now. Yeah. Oh, this one looks like it's. This one's Travis is really falling apart. It's too big. Boom. Thank you, baby. And then just smash them a little bit. You said it smells good already. You can smell it. That's all right. This one just broke, but that's all right. Look at them. We're going to let them cook again a little longer, about five minutes on that side. Okay, so we are cooked on both sides. So I would say that was roughly about 10 minutes all together. Five on each side. And if that side is hotter, we flip them. And look at our stuffing. You can like, see it in there. Yeah. I'm gonna add pepper jack cheese. And then I also decided because there's like some really nice situation going on down there, I'm gonna chop up some onions and I'm going to make some grilled onions. It's my favorite part, time to assemble. So all I did was I just put them in the um, toaster, just give them a nice little crunch. And I found this garlic, I mean, I'm sorry, chipotle aioli at Ralph's. Because I am a fan of all things sauce. Which is why I created a sauce. Just spread that on. A little of that. We are all done. Now we're going to move to the table, and Travis is going to try it. <laughs> 